Tip number one is to type sheets.new and you will create a new sheet. Very useful. If you're a complete rookie, you can click option question mark and you'll be able to find all the handy dandy features that Google Sheets has to offer. For example, conditional formatting. And there it is. Now let's learn to move. Noobs do it with the trackpad or a mouse, but professionals do it with the keyboard. So I have some letters here and some numbers. If I hold command or control on Windows and press the right arrow, it will jump to the first non-empty cell. And then if I do it again, it will jump to the last one. And then if I do it again, it will jump to the very end of my spreadsheet. If I do it vertically, the same thing happens. It jumps to the first thing, then to the last thing, and then to the very last thing. And if I had more numbers and the space here, so like this, for example, it will jump between these, between the spaces kind of cool. Now, if you add shift to this shortcut, you'll be able to select a bunch of stuff. And what's cool is that if you select some numbers at the bottom here, you'll find a sum of these numbers, which is 99. If you click here to expand, you'll be able to see even more stuff like the average, the minimum, the maximum, nice, and the count of all these cells. This is a quick way to find common calculations without using formulas. Now, if you do have a formula, for example, equals sum, open bracket, and all these numbers, I can hover my mouse on the edge of this cell and then move it anywhere. And what's cool is it's going to move its formula with it as well. As you can see, the formula is now here and it's been updated automatically. By the way, if you like the way I teach things, I have a few courses on Skillshare, for example, how I make YouTube shorts or how to to make a financial tracker with uh, Google Sheets. If you want, you can take them by clicking the link in the description. This is not sponsored, of course. Now, another interesting thing is if you have numbers, for example, like this, and you want to copy them and paste them, but not horizontally, but vertically. You can press Command V or Control V on Windows to paste, then click this thing and say split text to columns. The separator is basically what separates your numbers. These were commas. Google Sheets automatically detected that. So if you have a semicolon, you'll be able to select it over here. But now it's horizontal and I wanted it vertical. What I can do is type equal transpose and then select all of these numbers and click enter. It now rewrote all of them, but vertically. But what if you don't want to use a formula? Well, you can select this, hit copy, then come somewhere else, right click, paste special, and then transposed. And now it pastes without the formula. So if you delete all of these, it will not remove all of these. Very nice. Now, if you have all of your data like this, there's some empty cells, everything's not consistent, and you you want to put it all in one row or one column. What you can do is type equal to row, then open bracket, select everything here and click enter. As you can see, everything has been put into a row. Now you might want to remove all these empty spaces. There's three, but if you had a lot more stuff, there would be a lot more empty cells that it would generate. So you can put a comma and say one and it will ignore the empty spaces. You can see now there are no empty spaces. If you put two, it will ignore all the errors. And if you put three, it will ignore all the empty spaces and all the errors. If you want to put it into a column, you can say to call and it will put everything into a column. Now, if you have a bunch of numbers like this and you want to add them up together, you can do equals sum open bracket and then enter to select this range. But what if I want to add more numbers and sum them up here as well? Instead of having this second value, I can just delete the number behind the value and click enter. And now it selected everything up until the very bottom of the spreadsheet. So if I put 10,000 here, it will add it up to the final. Coming back to the second tip, which was option question mark to search for stuff, you can search for freeze row and click freeze one row, which will freeze the first row. So now when I scroll scroll, I will see the very first row no matter where I am in the spreadsheet. This is very useful for tables if you have the names of the columns at the very first sheet, so you'll be able to know what you're looking at if you scroll down. Counterintuitively, to unfreeze it, you have to say freeze no rows instead of unfreeze rows, which is very uh, interesting. Now, when you type in a formula that you have no idea how to use, instead of going to Google, you can simply click this drop down arrow and it'll explain how you should use it. What's also cool is that you can go Google Sheets formula 
formulas and then the first link will give you all the formulas that are available in Google Sheets. You can just browse this list to find some cool formulas or at the very top you can search for a formula that you want. Now if you want to filter your data you can select everything like so, go to data and choose create a filter. You'll notice that at the top these filtering options are now available and you can sort your data from A to Z or filter by color, condition, values and just exclude data that you don't want. So if I don't want to see the AB rating, I can just deselect it, click OK, and it's going to disappear. Also, if you add more data, you'll notice that it automatically adjusts the filtering range, and so the filtering options will apply to the whole thing instead of you having to drag this area down, which is very good. Another cool feature are column stats. If I click option slash, I'll be able to say column stats. And if I click enter, it will show me summaries of what's in this column. So you can see that here it shows me how many times the number 20 has been repeated, how many times the number 40 and so on. Here it does the same but in a table view and if I hover over these numbers you'll notice in the spreadsheet it also highlights those numbers. It also shows you the total rows, empty cells, unique values, sum, average and so on. So it's pretty useful if you want to explore the stats of just one single column. Now speaking of columns you can select one and then search for sparkline and if I click enter, it'll show me a little graph of all these numbers so it's easier for me to visualize how this data was changing over time. That's also pretty cool. What's also possible in Google Sheets is to create drop down menus. If I right click and scroll down, I can select drop down and boom, there's the drop down menu. Here I can write options from which I'll be able to choose. And this cell works just like any other cell. I can drag it down to apply it to more rows. And then when I click on the drop down, I can select cat, monkey, dog and so on. What I can also do is assign different colors to each of these animals and they will pop up in my drop downs. But what if I don't want to use a drop down menu and just have data like this? And I want to color all the animals green whose weight is greater than 100 and the others I can color red. To do this I can use conditional formatting. I can select all the animals and look up conditional formatting and this thing on the right will pop up. Right now I'm formatting them on their own, not based on anything. So here, if I say format cells if text contains dog, it will format all the dogs green, but I want to base it on the weight. What I can do instead is choose custom formula is. I'm gonna put equals B2 because B2 has the weight and say greater than 100. You'll see that all the animal names that have the weight greater than 100 are now colored green, but I want to color the rest of them red. I can scroll down and choose add another rule. Here I'll say less or equal than 100 and I'll pick a reddish color. Click done and here's the result. Conditional formatting is pretty useful if you want to visualize your data or just make your spreadsheet more beautiful. And speaking of making things more beautiful, what you can do is double click on this line in between two columns and it will adjust its size so that it fits perfectly with the longest word, which in this case is monkey. You can also select multiple columns and double click in between the line and it will adjust the thickness of all the columns. Now if you have a larger data table, like so, sometimes the information might be hard to see. So what you can do is select all of it and search up alternating colors. Click enter and it'll format your table in these alternating colors. You can also customize these like so to make your data even more beautiful. Now let's be honest, one thing that you'll never regret learning is how to use Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel. It's just such a great skill to have. I mean that can even get you a job. Companies gobble up people who are spreadsheet masters like it's their first meal after a 24 hour fast. And it's great for personal life too. Like I've made this finance track template for myself and now I know exactly how much I spend and make in a month. You can download it for yourself in the description if you want. And if you want to learn some more cool tips, tricks or something interesting, I think you'll love my newsletter. I send it out once a month with some cool websites, useful keyboard shortcuts, apps, quotes from books that challenge my limiting beliefs and other stuff I find useful. Go to the description and click on the link to check it out if that sounds potentially interesting.